How's it going? In this video, I want to share with you a way that we can take our SQL data and write a CSV file with it very quickly. To get started, we're inside of Wayscript, so we can create an environment here that we can share with our teammates if we want to. Once we name our layer and click on Create, it will create an environment for us to build our project into. We don't have to worry about dependencies on our machines or our coworkers' machines. Instead, we can build it all in one cloud environment right here. So, since we want to take SQL data and write CSV files from it, we first need to connect to an SQL database. The way that I'll do this here is using a Python library called My SQL Connector. We'll create any Python file, and the imports that we'll need for this will look like this. All of this code is linked down below too, so if you don't want to code along with me, feel free to go and grab it from there. But I'll talk through this as I go. So we're using this library, and to use this library, we have a little bit of code that looks like this. So we're creating a connection to a database using this library. We're passing the credentials to it in these strings here, and this allows us to go to our database and get information from it using our connection. If you need any help finding these credentials for your database, I have a linked video in the description that shows me going and getting this from a Heroku database. They're not all the same, but most are pretty similar. So how this works is we will say something like SQL, and then we'll pass in our command. So if I want to get all my information from a table in my DB, I'll write something that looks like this. So I'm selecting all, from a table called persons. Next, we have a few more lines of code from our dependency of MySQL connector, and it looks like this. So what we're doing is we're creating something called a cursor in this library to execute our SQL, and then once we've done that, we can fetch all of our results. So if we wanted to view all of these results from our table, we could say something like for x in my result. So for every result, we will print and let's convert our output. This standard output here is a tuple, so we will convert it to a list and we will save this. So now using our environment provided by Wayscript, we'll say python connect.py. We haven't installed our dependencies yet, so this should error. Just to show you this, it works the same way as it does locally. So we'll put in that pip command, we'll give it a few seconds to install, and then we'll run our command again. So you see that we get information back from my table. I just have a few lines, but it's enough to show how to create a CSV from this. A great library for working with tabular data like this in Python is called pandas. So we will import that. We will say import pandas as PD, which is the standard import. Now, back in our results, what we'll do instead of printing these is we want to create a CSV that we can access over here in our file manager. To do this, we'll first need to create a data frame. So PD data frame. So this will be empty for the moment. And what we'll do as we go through each row of our SQL database, we'll add more information to our data frame. And then at the very end, we'll convert it to a CSV. So we'll use that same iteration for X in my result. Now what we'll do is create a second data frame to add to the first one. So DF2 will be equal to PD data frame, and we'll pass in list of our iteration. By default, how this method works is if we add a list to it, then it becomes a column. But we can change that if we want to by using a simple method called dot T. And this just transposes our data. Instead of being a column, it will now become a row. Finally, once we have this, we have two data frames but we want them to become one after each iteration. So we want to add this one to the data frame that lives outside of the iteration. We will say df will be equal to pd. There's a method called concat, and this will take in a list of all the data frames that we want to join together. Once we have all of this, we are safe to convert it to a CSV. So this is very simple in pandas. We can take our data frame, and convert it to any type that we want, including CSV, by using a two and then the data type that we want. So two CSV, and it accepts a file name. So SQL data dot CSV. We'll save all of this, and now we can just execute our command. We'll first need to pip 
install pandas. After that installs, we can now run our script and we should have a new CSV file populate over here to the left, which we do, and we could download this if we wanted to. So hopefully that shows you a quick way in which we can take our data from one source and manipulate it and put it into another. If you have any questions about this, please let me know and I'll be happy to help. Until next time.